Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna be talking about the new Pattern Beauty Stylers. Yeah! I know, we're all excited. Now I have reviewed Pattern Beauty before and some of you might have seen my first video where I was a little upset. Why? 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 So there's amyloid and methicone on the shampoo. Most of the products contain silicone. And I'm someone that does not use any hair products that contain silicone. And there was only one conditioner I was able to use. So that's what I did the review on. But I really wanted to do more. So much so that in that video, I actually said, So Tracy, darling, we really need a styling cream or a gel. I am more than willing to come into the office, have a little chat with you so we could discuss the best ingredients to move forward with for the next launch for your styler. So call me. Mind you, she uh, didn't call me. Can we also talk about my hair growth since that video? Okay, nine months later. But they did make styling products like we asked and they're all silicone free. That's what I'm talking about, Pat. That's what I'm talking about. So now, with the second launch, you listened to the consumers and you delivered. And I respect a company that is not afraid to make some changes the second time around. Now, today's video is not sponsored by Pattern Beauty. I bought these with my own coins. I should just say dollars because these are not cheap. I didn't buy all the stylers, but let me show you what I got. One being not a styler at all. I actually got the new clarifying shampoo. I was excited to get their shampoo because the first shampoo that they dropped had silicone in it. I don't know why they put silicone in the shampoo, but they changed it in the second launch for the clarifying one, which is important to do so without sulfates or silicone. So I'm gonna show you how I wash my hair with this. Then I also got the pattern styling cream huge big tub. I also got the Stronghold Gel because your girl likes some hold. Just hold me. I got the Pattern Hydrating Mist to refresh and the Pattern Pick. Can we talk about this presentation? I think I just have to keep this in my purse so anytime I have to pick out my hair I could be like, hold on. You were saying? She also released a Curl Gel but if I had to choose between a curl gel and a stronghold gel, like let's just not play any games, I'm gonna want the stronghold. She also dropped an edge control, which I do really want, but I'm also waiting for the new edge control brush to be released, which isn't available yet. And I wanted to buy them together. So my edges are not laid, but hopefully they will be as soon as that brush drops. Or if Pattern wants to just send me one, I mean, just email. So we've got a lot to cover today and I actually tried all these products individually to really give you guys a solid review as to which products are really doing what. Let's get started starting in the shower using the new clarifying shampoo mixed with the OG pattern intensive conditioner for tight textures. So the clarifying shampoo comes in a 7.8 fluid ounce bottle and it has a really nice floral scent to it. It has a little pop top so it's easy to dispense and it is clear. So I'm gonna apply this directly to my scalp and it is lathering, giving it a nice sudsy feeling that makes you really feel like it's cleaning. When using a shampoo, I like when my shampoo does suds up because this makes me feel like it's cleaning more even if the bubbles don't exactly matter. But I'm really glad that the shampoo is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. After I rinse out my shampoo, I'm now grabbing the Pattern Intensive Conditioner for Tight Textures. It's for extreme moisture and restoration. So this is thick. This is a thick cream, and it's probably even too thick technically for my pattern and density of my hair, but it's the only conditioner that's silicone free, so that's the one I got. It states that this conditioner is for heavily porous or denser textures, looking to replenish moisture and nourish hair. I probably could even use this as a deep conditioner. It's so thick because it has shea butter, avocado oil, and vitamin E. So I was able to detangle with this shampoo. It's not like the best slip in the world, but it gets the job done. Once I completely detangled my hair, I rinsed it out and my curls did feel moisturized. And now the moment we've been waiting for the stylers. Let's start off with my day one hair using the cream styler. This styling cream is supposed to be great for coily and tight textures. So this is really claiming to work really well for like twist outs and braid outs, but as you guys know, I'm a wash and girl type of go. Wash and girl type of go? Wow. 
many of you know I'm a wash and go type of girl, so I don't really do a lot of twist outs per se, but whoa, that is thick. Look at that. That's that thicky thick cream. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna get a nice little dollop. Oh yeah, she thick. She thicker than a snicket. It has that same pattern beauty smell. It's like a refreshing, clean linen smell is what I'm getting from it. So I'm going to apply all of the look of that. That's how <laughs> thick it is. And just that little dollop was able to do this whole side of my head. And because it's so thick and I have very fine hair, I don't think I need any more. Now to apply a little bit more. So this is how it looks thus far with only the styling cream. It's looking pretty defined already. It is very thick, so I'm hoping it doesn't weigh down my hair, but let's see how it looks once it dries. And I'm back. This is how my hair is drying. It looks extremely shiny, very moisturized, but let's diffuse and see how it looks. expect and hope for in a cream styler on my day one curls moisturized looking shiny I'm not gonna get that much volume today regardless because I just washed my hair but I like it so that was a cream styler then a couple days later I took another shower and I wanted to try the gel I'm really big on seeing how well a gel will work fresh out the shower on day one hair and how big my hair can get on that first wash day so now let me show you how I applied the stronghold gel and yes I'm wearing the same shirt because ain't nobody got four shirts to wear in one video I mean just get over it I only have so many yellow shirts okay and now the moment I've been waiting for the stronghold gel I just have a feeling that this one is gonna be my favorite out of all the stylers so starting off on damp hair let's grab this gel Ooh. so just like that cream this gel is thick. Look at this. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So I want to take a scoop. Wow. Look at this consistency. I don't know if I own a gel this thick. But let's go ahead and apply it. It smells kind of like like aloe like aloe vera kind of raking it through scrunching it for definition all right side number one grabbing some more oh man that's thick so right now the consistency is feeling really promising it feels nice and thick it looks a little shiny and i feel like it's gonna dry nicely so i'll come back when it's dry and i'm back my hair is now dry to a very nice cast so now I'm gonna diffuse and make it even bigger Whew. all right let's see how it looks very nice look at that definition nice volume especially on day one hair but to make it even bigger what i'm very excited to try is the new pattern hair pick oh well if this isn't fancier than my 99 cent store pick i don't know what is that's beautiful look at these long picks to like really get in there let's i like this it has a little place for your thumb that's cute so let's go ahead and stick it under here and let's pick it out. Okay, this gel is bomb. I'm really loving my results. And this is day one here where I get like the least amount of volume and it still looks this big. I do think that it's nice and soft now. I was able to scrunch out all the cast. Let's give a full view. Here's how the back looks. 
What do we think? We might be onto something here, Pattern. We might be onto something. So this is very good for day one. Tomorrow, I'm going to refresh with the refresh spray and see how it looks on day two. It's now time to refresh. So I slept with my hair up in a pineapple. This is after the day of gel. Let's see how it looks on day two. Shake it out a little bit. All right, so here's how it looks fresh out the pineapple after sleeping on it. Not bad, should be an easy refresh. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. And now I'm gonna try the small version, because I wanted to sample it out, of the Pattern Hydrating Mist. This is three fluid ounces, supposed to revive and replenish your curls for a boost of moisture. So let's just spray some of this on here. This one kind of has a stronger scent than the gel and the cream. I don't know what it smells like. I just don't really like it. Like at first it smells fresh and then like the after smell isn't pleasant. So this mist is very light. It's not really like a cream at all. Let me show you. Very watery. Oh, got it in the eye. Oh, it burns. Don't put it in your eye. All right, so we're refreshed. It looks pretty shiny. I'm gonna see if it has any type of cast, but it doesn't feel extremely moisturizing, but at the same time, I do think it's working and bringing back definition and shine. I'm just gonna let it sit and dry, and I'll come back. And I'm back, my hair is completely air dried, and I really like it. It has a nice cast to it. It's one of those products where when you apply it, you're skeptical, but when you wait it out, it has good results. So I'm just gonna scrunch out the cast now. It's getting big. Okay. Look at this volume. So overall, the refresh spray works very well. It has a nice cast that'll help you get to the next day. It scrunches out nicely, help me get that volume, refresh my curls. So this is another win for the styling products. So that's how all the products work individually, which I think is important to test out. But I have one more test using the styling cream with the Stronghold Gel. So I'm gonna start off with the cream to give that moisture first. And now to lock in that moisture, I'm gonna go in with the Stronghold Gel. So here is how it looks now. Let's see how it dries. And we're back, and this is what I'm talking about. This is like the perfect amount of hold that I prefer when it comes to diffusing my hair and how I want my stylers to dry. But I am gonna diffuse because I'm tired of waiting. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what do we see? This, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. All right, we have a winner. And let's get my beautiful pattern pick. Fluff it out a little bit. Fabulous. That is how we got to this part right here. This is my final results using both the products together, and this is my day three hair. So the clarifying shampoo is $20, but the conditioner, the styling cream, and the gel are all $25 each. 
The pattern hair pick is $9. Because I wasn't too sure about how I would like the hydrating mist, I did get the small one, which is three fluid ounces, and this one's $7. I do like that pattern offers little mini kind of travel sizes, so you could test out which products you like before you commit to a $25 purchase. So overall, I am very, very pleased with the stylers. Thank you, Powder and Beauty, for making them sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I think it's so important to show that you just don't need those types of ingredients to make bomb products. Out of all of them, I think I prefer the gel and the cream combined to get these results. If I only can get one styler, I personally would just get the Stronghold Gel. So leave me a comment and let me know what product are you most excited to try? If you've already tried them, what are your thoughts? Which ones are your favorite? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.